My name is Donnie Wynn. I live in Austin, Tejas. Well, even though I'm primarily known as a drummer, I'm much more interested in sound and always have been. It started off with Hendrix. I mean, people like that inspired me to be a musician. They were making sounds and making creations like no one else was doing, and that's what always inspired me. And then, of course, when Robert Palmer did pick me up as a drummer, I was given the education of a lifetime and uh, turned on the music from all over the world before that thing was popular. And uh, so I didn't realize at the time, but he was grooming me to be a really good producer. And, uh, and then you go and you, f you run across people like Trent Reznor, T-Bone Burnett, Bjork, Tom Waits. I really like original statements and original sounds. And I go to nth degrees to, to find that sound to make something really cool and different. My mom and dad were uh, living in Memphis in 1956, where that was the center of the universe for music. And um, they were young, 20 years old. So yeah, my dad would go to the local record store. And I, I remember very distinctly, he picked out, uh, it was one of them had a blue label, one of them had a purple label. And uh, the blue label he put on first, and there was this machine that was in this room that I, you know, I could move things around on it, but I never knew what it did. And then he put this 45 on, and then the machine started moving, and then the needle hit down, and then this sound, it was all shook up by Elvis Presley. And the sound of it just, I couldn't stop listening. And the next one was, I'm Walking by Fats Domino. Those are the two first things I heard. I was immediately drawn to the beat, for obvious reasons. Um, and then a year after that, I started receiving drums every Christmas. So at age three, I was already listening to records and playing along with records. So there never has been really a choice for me. It was what I was born to do, I felt like. I'm actually recording a lot of music for my short stories. I'm recording music through GarageBand, a little Audio Technica USB. I uh, did a kalimba part the other day. I did an Uncle Unk, this Vietnamese weird shaking bamboo thing. Uh, so I'm doing a lot of music for my short stories because that's something else I do. And I'm also producing Casper uh, Rawls, a really renowned Austin guitarist who played with Buck Owens and everyone else. And he plays the Clarence White B-Bender. But he also has a magnificent voice like Nat King Cole, very smooth and beautiful. And uh, it's turning out great. Everyone that hears it says, this sounds magical. And as soon as they hear the first couple of notes, they all break out into smiles. So, I know we're doing something right. What really caught me off guard was the definition of the sound. It's of course much fatter, much cleaner, and again, some people might say, well, I want a dirtier sound, but it's still, you have to have a really good sound source, and this thing is gonna bring out the best that you want to get. But I heard it within the third note, the difference, and it's truly remarkable. This is a big day for me because I want several of these to be able to tell people this is what we're gonna use this day on the session. You might have your thing, but I'm gonna help you make you sound better. And it's gonna improve my productions as well, and I'm, I can't be more thrilled about that.